bears the burden of a half a million visitors every year. With its incredible popularity, the Kalalau Trail on Kauai's Napali Coast has more than its share of problems, too. As KITV4's Laura Yamada shows us, the state has released a new safety video, all in an effort to save lives. You are about to embark on one of the world's most famous and beautiful hikes. Stunning valleys, majestic mountains, sparkling waters. It's no wonder Kalalau Valley on Kauai's North Shore is a visitor magnet. But with nature comes risk. And with more and more visitors taking up that risk, it means rescues are up. In 2013, heavy rain stranded dozens of hikers overnight. Eric Wolfbrand watched as one woman trying to cross the now raging river was swept to her death. We could see the look on her eyes of, you know, desperation and wanting help. I think that was one of the toughest parts. I can come up very quickly, and that's what catches people off guard. Uh, it could rise in a matter of, you know, 30 minutes. They could cross when its conditions are like this. They spend some time on the other side, it rises, and they're stuck here for overnight. Uh, we always tell them if that ever happens to you, don't risk your life. It's not worth it. Well, statewide, at state parks, trails, even out of bound areas, hiking patronage is up, which is great. We love the fact that people are getting into the outdoors and whatnot. The problem is, is they're going where they're not supposed to go. It can happen in an instant. The Department of Land and Natural Resources has put together a six minute video outlining the risks and on ways to prepare for the hike and preserve the Kalalau Trail. They released a similar video for Sacred Falls recently, the site where a 1999 landslide killed eight people. The DLNR says that video has already garnered 17,000 hits. They have hope this one will eventually save lives too. We're reaching a point where we have to get out the information uh, on safety and preparedness in a much bigger audience than we're used to handling. And so that's what this effort is all about. Laura Yamada, KITV4 News. And Dan Dennison from the DLNR says the video will be distributed widely on state and county websites and on various travel and tourism sites as well. And sometime soon you'll be able to watch it on your cell phone or iPad.